Hello everybody. Uh, my name is Dark Eye Free for those of you who do not know the face to the man, a uh, face to the voice, I guess. Um, and I, I was gonna make a highlight video this week, and I didn't didn't have time. And I was then gonna decide to do one of my rants, uh, a rant about multiplayer uh, achievements in single player games and force multiplayer in general. And I, I will do that at some point. I will do that at some point. But um, at the moment, uh, I'm I'm not sure how to start a video. Um, basically, talking about gaming communities and what's happened in uh, the Smite community the past couple of days. And so we may as well just go straight into it. Um, there's a, a guy, well-known guy in the Smite community. He's called Allied. Um, otherwise known as David Hans, he's a, a great guy. Everyone in the community loves him, and unfortunately, uh, I think it was yesterday um, he lost his battle of cancer and passed away. And we'd known for a little while that he was actually um, he, he, we knew he had cancer for quite some time, and we knew it was stage four. And but the fact that like he, not too long ago he was. He admits he was like he was on a cane and stuff, but he was pretty much there. He was fine. Um, and then a couple of days ago, it came out. Oh, it must have been about a week ago that he had it come back, and it was a lot more vigorous than it was before. And before we even realised that he was gone, and it's left quite a hole in the Smite community and the Smash community because he was quite known in both of those. Um, he was a pro player. Um, for both both Smash and for Smite, and then he became a caster for High Res for Smite, um, and then shortly after that he was diagnosed with cancer, and so of course he took a break from everything to go and take his uh, make take his treatment. Um, got back into streaming again, and that that's all she wrote. Um, but in in the grand scheme, um. What I want to say is that the communities um, in in gaming uh, doesn't matter doesn't matter what game. Um, I don't I don't care what game we're talking about here. Um, but every community for gaming has, will almost always rally, and in in this case, I have nothing but good things to say about how our communities acted. The Smite community, especially, um, you, you'll see it in a lot of in a lot of games, a lot of popular games, that the community will. While there's a there's a lot of infighting, and you can have toxic communities like MOBA communities, or you can have fully interactive communities like the Eve community. Um, no matter what happens, the community will tend to rally if one of their own is is afflicted by something. And the Smite community this past week, it it definitely instills faith in humanity. Um, the 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 level of support that everyone's been showing uh, to Allied and his family, the, the the messages left after it was found that he was passed was be, be, be amazing. They're heartwarming. The community itself has rallied as well. They managed to raise a ton of money uh, selling um, merchandise and. Um, other, other power and stuff like that, and there's a lot of there's a lot of support shown for charities and the family and everyone around. And like I said, we've seen it in Eve, we've seen it in Smite. Eve, a random person will will pass away who plays Eve, and one of his friends, courtmates, whatever, they'll tell the community, and the community will all do their the O seven salute. Um, Fly safe, buddy. All of that, and it just it it shows that the the gaming community is no different in the grand scheme to any other community, and I I don't know why it our community is seen as something which isn't as I don't know how to I don't know how to word it. I don't know why our community is seen as something that's not as good or not as not as caring or whatever as the other communities. Sure, sure we're gamers. 
but I I don't know where all this bad stuff has come from. I don't I don't know why we're seen as terrible people. And all you've got to do is look at events like the ones that we've encountered with Smite recently, and you'll see that our community rallies. Our community our community doesn't. It it's no different to any other. I don't why we've got this reputation that we're careless, we're all dicks, whatever have you. I have no idea why we are seen as such a terrible group. And the fact that regardless of all of that, regardless of how we're perceived by the media or other people or what have you, every time we still rally and we still go with our own and we help where we can. And I have nothing but good things to say about you guys. Um, you can tell this isn't an impromptu thing. I didn't have anything planned. Um, partly because I, I haven't had time to do anything. But, like, honestly, all of you guys that, if even if you don't know them, um, like, that little bit of support can help out families and friends and those who knew the person afflicted and I don't know <clears throat> I don't know it's it's a, a pretty sad day um, to find that Allied has gone um, he was a great community member like his streams are great he was a great player too like G Jesus the guy has a smile on his face as well like there were, but you'd, you'd sit there and think like a guy who's got stage 4 cancer something would affect him and no no but yeah it's sad day for smite community sad day for smash community but we've rallied and like there's loads of messages on on the smite subreddit and on twitter everyone remembering allied and it happens with it doesn't matter if they're big or small community members there's always someone that's interacted with them and it, it's it's always good to see support so um, you'll notice as well that this video doesn't have a pre-roll ad. No need for one. We're not going to have my usual outro either. No post-roll ad, no mid-roll ad, nothing. Um, just because I wanted to say with with all of my heart to the gaming community thank you for being as good as you are. <laughs> like, you can set, anyone can say what they want about this community. I mean, I look like a bloody idiot like with stupid stupid beard stupid hair and there are still people who support me in what I do so I have nothing but good things to say about you guys some of you guys are, well I, I do have bad things to say about you guys some of you guys are dicks honestly some of you guys are complete assholes but the rest of you like I've, I've said it in a previous video um it doesn't matter what your background is where you've come from um doesn't matter what race you are doesn't matter what gender you are, doesn't matter your sexuality, it like I honestly think the gaming community is one of the most accepting and inclusive and caring communities out there. And that's I'm guessing it's because a lot of us have been othered at one point in our life, at one point or another, and we've all found gaming as a solace and we've all come back and we know we know what it's like to to hurt and to not be accepted and so we we've made a place which allows you all to become come in and be welcome so yeah i know it's a, a depressing video guys i know i know it's not great and it's it's never good to lose a member of your own community um I'm I'm sure like I don't think we're ever gonna be able to fill a void. No matter who goes, you can never fill that gap. Um, and for, for, for worst part is he's 25. Damn it, he was 25, guys. He's two years younger than me for Christ's sake. It's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. But yeah, cherish life, guys. Cherish it. Um, take that jump. Do do something. Do like if you want to do something, do it. There is. Failure may be an option, but I think we've all we've all had points in our life where there's something which we don't know how it's going to go, 
and you can either let it go let it go past you or you can jump for it and unless it's something which is almost certain to fail there are still chances where that failure is n not going to happen where you can succeed in it but take that jump guys live your life i, I know a lot of people say that you can't live a life because if you don't have money and to, to an extent i agree but you can always make that opportunity for yourself um what six years ago i didn't have a youtube channel got one now haven't even got a thousand subscribers yet but i've got one and you just jump into it you do what you can and i've i've grown so much just from, from just from that and you've just gotta go with it don't get to a certain point of your life and realize you've not even taken a chance ally took plenty of chances and he's he he touched a lot of people and i i I don't, I don't know if we'll see anyone as loved uh, in the Smite community, but people can always try. But yeah, thank you all for tuning in. My name has been Dark Eye Free, as per usual. Um, go show Allied and his friends and family some support. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys, in the next stream. Take it easy. Bye-bye.